Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be making a little jerk egg. Well, I'm going to call it kind of a jerk egg. It's going to be kind of like a little crankbait. I have not measured it yet. I think it's probably going to be about an inch. So yeah, let's get on to making the lure. Okay, so since this, this thing is so small, I'm just going to cut it out. Cut this off with the saw. And now I'm literally just going to cut the rest of this out with a razor blade. So I'm not going to use a bandsaw or anything because that would just be way too large for this little thing so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out Okay, so I got the lure out. I'm going to go ahead and draw the um, lines for about how thick it is. Um, and now I'm going to draw the chamfer lines and get to carving that out. So it's been like 10 minutes and the lure is almost fully cut out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw the chamfer lines on it and get those cut out and sand it some more. I don't know what kind of this wood this is. Um, it's just a dowel that we got from the hardware store. It's a 3 inch, 3 eighths inch dowel. Well, I guess it's not a dowel. It's a square, whatever you call that. But I'm going to go ahead and draw the chamfer lines out on this, get those cut out and sand it. So there's the lure so far. It's coming along really fast. It's only been like 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the slot through the line through, or from the line through. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of lead in this. And I don't know what I'm going to do for eyes yet. So it's getting close to being done. Well, I guess i got to cut the lip slot, so I'm going to do that too. It's getting close to being done. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff cut out and ready to go.
Okay, so like I said, I had that chip right there. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Um, make the lip. I did get this filled. I put um, a piece of lead shot in there. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this down and fix that. looking good so far um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding these down and start painting one uh, piece of lead shot in here because I didn't want to make it too heavy because the epoxy clear coat will uh, probably make it sink a lot because it's gonna be pretty heavy on this so I sealed it with some super glue and that's floating like perfectly even though whenever I put lead on it it's probably going to if you can see it it's probably gonna sink so, yeah, it worked out pretty well, or it looks like it's going to work pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and get this dried off and go start to paint. That almost looks like it's not glued in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to paint and give it a clear coat and test it out, and it should be done. So I'm going to see you guys when I start to paint. Okay, so I got the lure painted white so far. Um... So the first color that we're going to use is some red on the belly and then we're going then we're going to use some blue on the sides. Then I'm going to use some gold and then I'm going to put that on the side side as scales and then I'm going to do black on top. So let's start painting. So I'm gonna let this dry. I um, put the paint, the gold on there pretty thick. Um, I painted a little bit up towards the head, and the um, I painted the gill or the lip a little bit, and I painted some of the back and the belly. It's definitely gonna be the prettiest pink job I've ever done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and put the black on there, and it should be done. Well, done and done. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this black on the top and probably a little bit around the face. Um, 
Okay, so this isn't my favorite uh, paint job I've ever done. It honestly doesn't look amazing. I probably could have spent a little bit more time, but I'm not selling it or anything. So it doesn't really matter to me. It's just going to have to catch a couple fish. And I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes on it and get it clear coated. So for the eyes, I have some of these super small eyes. I don't know what I'm going to use. Um, red or green. Probably green. I don't know. We'll see. But I never thought I'd use these eyes. But I gotta do something with them. So this will be perfect for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these eyes on here. Probably gonna do green. And get it clear coated. So there it is on the rotisserie. There definitely are some imperfections in it. So it's not my best paint job. Definitely not my best paint job. It doesn't look half bad. All it has to do is catch some fish for me. I'm not going to sell it, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to dry. We'll test out the action. And yeah, there's the lure. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, test out the action, and get some pictures of it after it's dry. That's the next day. The clear coat hit, um, is done drying. So here's the lure. It turned out looking pretty good. There are some imperfections in the clear coat, but not too worried about that. Other than that, it looks good though. So I'm going to go ahead, test out the action, and get some up close pictures of this thing. I did nick it right there before I clear coated it, but. It's fine, I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat this, or test out the action. Okay, so before I test out the other one, I'm gonna test out this one that I made in the last video, which was sinking before I um, put lead or anything in it. It was actually just sinking. So the wood itself was sinking. I just put like a wee little bit of lead in it so it goes straight has kind of a wobble. Yeah, it's wobbling. It will definitely have more action if it can get it to pull further. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that up. I'm going to test out this little one. I just have it tied up to some uh, five pound tests. It'll probably be on like between two or five pound tests whenever I fish it. But there isn't a hook on it so the action might change a little bit. It floats perfectly right now but I think once the hook's on it it will still sting. It'll sink so I'm going to go ahead and test it. It has a little bit of a wobble. It just barely, it kind of shakes back and forth like that kind of rolls. It's not the worst action in the world, but it's not the greatest. I'll probably still catch a fish, so I am going out to my Pap and Graham's day. We're going to butcher a cow. <laughs> um, but they do have a pond out there, and then they have some silos where there's pigeons, so I might do some hunting 
for those. So that's probably going to be the next video. If the pond is not frozen, I'll probably do some fishing, probably with this. So, yeah, I'll try to get some more action out, video, video of action out there. So that'll probably be in the next video. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some up-close shots of this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.